Hello and welcome to your fourth tutorial on how to create an FPS game. So uh, let's jump right in. A few seconds. And here we are. Now today we're just going to finish off what we started in the previous tutorial which is making the gun. By the way, I forgot to do this. Um, take off the box collider of the gun object, otherwise it will it will disturb your movement, the, the player. So uh, let's let's open up our gun script. There we go. And now uh, you see that whenever we wanted it to fire a bullet, we told it to print it. Now we want it to actually fire a bullet instead of just printing it so we're gonna do that right now now the code for firing a bullet is fairly long but well not that long but it will a bit overwhelm you with its size so uh... we're just gonna make it in a separate function uh... by the way function function update unlike function update this function is only gonna be called when we're when we tell it to be called so uh let's first type it function fire now we have created a new function how exciting right so first thing first thing we need to know about what we're doing is uh we're raycasting now what that means is instead of firing an actual game object which will take a lot of uh resources from your computer and is very inefficient because the uh, the collider doesn't always collide at high speeds what we're gonna do is tell the computer to just send a ray just forward from the center of your screen and whatever it hits it counts as a hit to your gun and you'll see how we make that work with some spark effects just how we put here so uh, let, let's get started on typing so first we need uh, three variables var Ray, right? Var hit and var range. Now I'll explain a few th these, but uh, I just forgot to just forgot to do a quick few things. So um, I'll show you whatever I do, whatever I do personally when I need to find out some stuff about Unity or learn new stuff. I go to my web browser, uh, go to the Unity website, just like that. Yeah, I have really crappy internet. So uh, you go to support, you go to documentation, and you go to scripting references. On scripting references, you will find everything that you need to know about Unity and Unity programming. Well, mainly Unity programming. It has all the ty the functions built in, variables, whatever you need it to do what uh, whatever you, you everything on Unity. Just you can do everything using the scripting references. It's a really powerful tool. I suggest you use it whenever you're stuck or want to learn something new. So today we just want Raycast. So we're going to take Raycast in the search. And there, you get physics.raycast, which is the normal raycast. Now, the one we want is this one. See with the var, no, excuse me, this one. With the var ray and the var hit. I'll explain what this does later, but for now, just copy. So the last one on the page, copy and paste that straight into your code. See, we already got these two variables. And now what you see here is a function, so which, which uh, returns true if it hits something, if the ray hits something, and returns false if it does not. So that's why you have an if before it. And now what the function's parameters take is the ray, which is the center of the screen, camera, dot main, dot screen to point, which is some complicated stuff that we won't learn now and hit. Hit is where we store all the information about the object we hit. And uh, the last is uh, range. It's currently set to 100 game units but we want to set it to range. And because you don't want to send to 100 game units or a big number 
because that will be just limited shooting. I want to go all the way to infinity. So what we need to set for range is math f dot infinity. Perfect. Now this will go to infinity. And uh, yeah, and that's how it goes. So what we want to do here is uh, whenever it returns true, we want to instantiate sparks. W instantiate means create sparks at the position of the hit. So we know that we hit something. So what we're going to do is use a function called instantiate, if I got that right. And in the parameters, we're going to pass the object one instantiate, which is sparks. Um, the point, the position we want to instantiate in, which is hit dot point, point, and the object's rotation, which is just going to be hit dot nor normal, which is its normal rotation. Perfect. Now all we need to do is just call this function whenever we fire a bolt. Now you could also just drag this in and drop it here instead of the fire but I just like to do this best because we're gonna modify this code and make it a lot bigger in the tutorial so for now let's keep it like that. Alright now uh, let's test it out. First uh, we have to set our sparks variable which is currently empty. If you open the gun script it's empty. Now, uh, oh, we also need to set fire rate to 0 0.2. Remember that, otherwise it will be really buggy. So the sparks, we don't really have any particle effects or cool effects to put here right now. So we just put a cube, just for you know, for identification. So let's make a cube. Take off the box glider so it won't give us any trouble. Resize it to 0 0.2. So we can see directly where it hit. And then we want to, because we want to instantiate it every time we hit, we need to put it in a prefab. Now what a prefab is like, it's like saving a game object for later. So you put it in right here. So uh, the way you do that, you can do it two ways. You can drag it and drop it, simple as that. Or you can go create free prefab, name it Sparks, and then drag your cube onto it. Now either way works. I'm going to use this, this one. And now... If you notice here, we can set the variables of the script through here. This makes it a lot easier. And uh, so we just want to set this to sparks, just like that. Now this should fire. Let's delete that. Now this should work, but wait, we got an error. Instantiate. I misspelled it. Oh, great. Instantiate. That should go away. I didn't instantiate. Let's let's set that. You know what? Let's set that to quaternion. Not. Hold on. Why is it not detecting some technical issues? Quaternion. There we go. Quaternion dot identity with a regular eye. There we go. That That's just the object's default rotation. I don't want to do the hit rotation right now. We'll do it later. So let's test that out now. There, perfect. We get it right where we're shooting at. Now you notice it will pretty cloud up your scene if you do it a lot. But I just want you to notice that if you change the fire rate, say to 1, then it will be a lot slower. see. Alright, that's all for now. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, be sure to check out the next tutorial. Bye-bye.